hello friends welcome to java swing tutorial in this video we are going to create the example for jview port so this is the theory part which we saw in the previous video all right now we will go to eclipse demo Let me open the Eclipse Oxygen. This is our initial window. Now we will create the panel. So there will be one panel here and one panel at the bottom. First, we create the member variable for uh, JView port. So, in the constructor, first we create a button grid. For that, we create a J panel. Then we specify the preferred size. And if you see, with this 500 that matches with our bounds of the J frame, but the height is 7000. The size of our frame window, that means the height of our frame window is a 500. Here it is a 7000. That means the frame window cannot accommodate uh, the button grid. Why? Because we are, bo we are going to create a big button grid with uh, almost 5000 buttons. All right, so here we form a uh, for loop and we create 5000 buttons then we add that to our add that to our button grid button grid is a j panel so this j panel now contains 5000 j buttons next we add our button grid to the control host control host is retrieved from our j frame window So after the button grid, we add our uh, uh, button controller. There we create two button with up and down. So this button will uh, take care of uh, scrolling this uh, button grid. So these two buttons will take care of uh, scrolling our uh, button grid, which we already added in the center of our uh, control host. So this is the command panel which is also a j panel for the j panel we are adding uh, two button these two buttons up and down we add this uh, command panel to the south of the border layout that means our control host the control host when we created it we we retrieve the control host from j frame and we say it border layout button grid is added to the center portion of this uh, control host then the command panel is added to the south to see this visually we will run our application so these buttons are from the button grid and this is the bottom panel command panel which contains two button up and down this button grid which is here we added it to the center the command panel which contains up and down button which is added to the south but if you see we created 5000 buttons and now we will scroll this using the jview port now our document or component component in the sense here it is a button grid which is j panel which is so big that now we want to scroll our uh, button grid so we create a jview port and we give button grid to the jview port using the set view method after this we add our uh, jview port to the control host 
so now this line is not required so we added this for the testing purpose now we gave that button grid to the JView port so now JView port will uh, take care of uh, uh, handling this uh, button grid which is 500 grams 7000 uh, in size that means with 500 height is 7000 but our frame windows height is uh, just uh, 500 now our button grid is taken care by the JV port now we will handle the events After typing the new keyword, I pressed a control space. Now I'm double clicking this. This will provide the skeleton code. So this is the handler code for the button up. The same way we have to create a handler code for button down also. so this is the handler code for button down and this is the handler code for button up if you see here from our j view port first we are getting the position so this code runs on button up then we are changing the y origin that means the uh, we are changing the origins y location we are incrementing it by 500 then we set the new view position to our JVP so if this will be our J viewport position we are not changing X we are changing Y the viewport position will move down so the red box will be our uh, button grid This will be our frame window. And in the top panel, in the top panel, we will display our grid, and there are two buttons here up and down. In the top, we will display our button grid and in the bottom panel, we will display our uh, command panel. But button grid, if you see, it's uh, so big. So this will be the viewport and by setting the new position, we change the Y origin. That means we are displaying different portion of our button grid so by increasing the y coordinate we are moving the viewport like this and by decrementing the y location we are moving it like this now we will do the same for the other button click If you see here we are decrementing the y location all right now when i run the demo you will understand it okay we removed the code here which we ran previously and instead we added our jv port
that's a copy paste uh, issue and you can see that button grid is moving That's all on this uh, demo and you see here how we assigned this uh, scrolling to two buttons this will be useful for any control say for example if you are displaying a, a big document and you can provide different control here in the bottom and you can navigate to different portion of a, I mean different fixed position of document using the uh, buttons say for example go to section 1 go to section 2 go to reference section appendix section like that so you can scroll to a fixed position so that user can see part of the document and that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye